What's going on everybody? John the Tourist Stories here in the city of Santa Malta, here on the coastline of Colombia. And today I'm going to be heading out to a popular beach here by the name of Playa Rodadero. Playa Rodadero is about 15 minutes away from where I am at right now. And where I am at right now is the central area of Santa Malta. And what is behind me is the Bahia Santa Malta. And the way I'm going to be getting over to Playa Rodadero is taking one of the many blue buses that you can find here on Carrera 1C. And here comes one right now, and there's another one right behind it. Now, you want to make sure that the front of the window, there's going to be a sign that's going to tell you its destination. You want to make sure that it says Rodadero. You can also ask the driver just, just to have that 100% peace of mind that you're going the right way. The bus costs 2,300,000 pesos, which is equivalent to about 50 US cents. It's not too bad. Because if you take a taxi, a taxi is gonna charge you about 15,000 Colombian pesos. That's equivalent to about three dollars. So you figure you figure you're saving two dollars and fifty cents. So it's it's always good to save. So with all that in mind, time to head out to Playa Rodadero. Alright everybody, so I just got off the bus. So one thing to keep in mind, when you clear that uh, that road that wraps around and goes through the, the mountains there, when you clear that, you want to keep a lookout for the Puma gas station. You want to keep a lookout for the Puma gas station. It's going to lead you right around here. And this street, you walk straight down this street in about two blocks straight down, you're going to be brought to the beach, to Playa. Rodadero Beach as well as you plan where do you plan on going back to the central area of Santa Malta the buses will pick you up across the street where, where this gym is at go across the street and, and it'll bring you back into the central area well, we've got some trees blocking it right now All right, everybody, so I just cleared walking Calle 9. As I showed you, I started at the Puma gas station. It was only about two, three blocks walking. Calle 9 ends here at Playa Rodadero. And if you choose to take the way that I did, well, let me show you something that might help you out a little bit more. So first off, you see this little souvenir shop and you see this building right here. And then you see this one on this side. Now these two buildings, they look very alike. They're both white and they have that blue lining on the balconies, right? On the windows. So just look at these buildings as big brother and little brother. So when it comes time for you to leave the beach, you remember where Calle 9 is at. Just keep a lookout again for, for, these, for these two look alike buildings. Walk back up Calle 9 to head back to El Centro, Santa Malta. All right, everybody, so today I'm gonna be doing a beach walk. I'm gonna be doing a beach walk up Playa Rodadero, but I tell you what, it's really hot. That sun is no joke. It's shining on my chrome dome, so 
I'm gonna wait for things to cool down because you know walking on that beach uh, recording and, and trying to keep it together that, that's tough with, with, with that hot ass sun but while I wait for things to cool down I'm gonna show you this pedestrian zone I'm gonna show you a little of this, of this pedestrian zone I'm gonna show you you know the places where you can have a bite to eat have a beer get some snacks hop in the souvenir shops I'm gonna show you a little bit of everything so let's get to it So this is nice, they got a whole bunch of seating under the palm trees. Because I tell you what, this heat is intense. So although they have the tents and whatnot on the beach, well, the shade under the palm trees is just as good. Probably even cheaper. Alright, so if anybody's wondering if there's any restrooms at this beach, well, there is. Not only restrooms, but we got lockers and we got showers and we got dressing rooms. Now, lockers, I feel like that that's a that's a great thing to have at the beach because, say, if you came here with anything, any type of valuables that you don't want to leave at your seat or if you want to hop in the ocean and you don't want to be you know, worrying about it or you might have one too many adult beverages and, you know, you, you, you might not drink responsibly. Uh thing to have shower so you know what when you when it comes time for you to leave the beach you, you don't leave here all sandy and dressing room well hey to change your clothes so yeah great thing to have here all right so right there you got a souvenir shop inside of this building Santa Maria del Mal it looks like you got a variety of shops more further in there Got a little chill spot out here. Have, have some beers. You got the bike lane too, that's pretty cool. So if you come out here with the bicycles, ride up and down the beach. All right, everybody, so I feel like it has cooled down well enough for me to commence the beach war. So let's start the show. Right, so I want to start off this video doing a comparison, a comparison of two things, the water temperature and the location of the sunset. And I'm going to be comparing it to the water temperature and the sunset in Cartagena. And if you're asking, well, why Cartagena? Number one is because I've spent many years out in Cartagena. And number two, Cartagena is only four hours away from Santa Marta, or well, if you're driving. So let's start it off with the water. So the temperature of the water, I must say, is cold. And it surprised me because I wasn't expecting for it to be cold. It's not freezing cold, but it's cold. And the temperature of the water in Cartagena, it's a little more warmer. All right, so now let's talk about the sun. Now, as you can see, the sun is hiding behind the mountains. And it's sunset time here in Santa Malta. And that's another thing that surprised me because when I'm out on the beach in Cartagena, the sun sets off to the left side. Out here... When you're at the beach, the sun sets off to the right. So two things that surprised me right away. Temperature of the water and the location of the sunset. You know, it's only my second time here in Santa Marta. As I mentioned a few moments ago, I've spent a lot of time out in Cartagena. So I, now I'm starting to give uh, the city of Santa Marta a little more attention. And and as well as I'm, I'm getting surprised i'm gonna surprise but it's good surprises it's good surprises so let's start that beach walk all right here we go here we go now i just want to make mention of something 
there might be parts of the, of the video where I may have to mute it due to the copyright rules on YouTube because there's a lot of people playing music here on the beach. Let's hope I don't have to mute it all that often. But anyways, let's start the let's start the show. Damn, look at that. As you can see, this beach is packed. And I was talking to one of the locals earlier who sells beer, and I, and I asked them, I'm like, hey, is this beach packed because it's Semana Santa? Because, you know, Semana Santa is a popular holy week here in Colombia and, and, and in a lot of uh, Latin countries. And I asked him, is this beach packed because of Semana Santa? He goes, no, this beach is this beach is like this all the time. This is this is you're in Santa Malta, baby. This this it ain't just because of Semana Santa. And I'm like, oh, you don't say. Right, here we go. So these tents right here, all these blue tents and chairs. So I was talking to one of the vendors. He was telling me, he was telling me to rent a tent as well as two chairs. I asked him for two chairs. He said it's gonna cost me 25,000 pesos. 25,000 pesos, which is equivalent to five US dollars. That's not too bad. It's gonna cost you a little more though if, if, you, if you come here with say a group of people. So now if we're talking four, five, six chairs it might cost you 30, 35,000 pesos, but it's not a huge difference now. Oh, the massage ladies, the massage ladies in the house. Now, as I walk on this end of the beach, something that I noticed compared to the other end of the beach is over here, uh, you tend to see more families. And nothing wrong with that. It's, it looks like there's more parents and kids here. On the other end, it, it, it would look like it's more adults, singles, couples, friends. But it's all good. This is, this is Santa Malta.
this is a nice open space right here. So you come out here, bring a soccer ball, bring a football. Maybe if you if you have the equipment, set up a, a net and, and and everything else that you need to play volleyball. You're coming out here with a big crew, of course. So they, they got these little banana boats that you can hop on, head out to the sea, okay. as well as some uh, smaller size speed boats. Got a couple more over there too. Man, look at these apartment buildings, huh? Look at this. Apartment buildings built on a on bedrock, on a, on a on a mini mountaintop, basically. Damn. So it looks like I pretty much have reached the end, the Playa Rodadero. Uh, you can go on a little bit more, but there's not really too much to, to find over there. It, you'll just find a whole bunch of rocks and that end of the playa, uh, the playa, well, yeah, playa. That end of the beach is not really giving too much attention, so it's a little dirty. But uh, the beach beach, Playa Rodadero, different story as you just saw. Now, I, in, in doing the beach walk, I showed you the sights and the sounds. I didn't really want to make it a long and dragged out beach walk because I feel like that gets watered down. So I can only hope that uh, I gave you a good you know, perspective on what Playa Rodero is all about. All right, everybody, so I showed you what Playa Rodadero looks like during the day, right? When that sun is shining bright and, and relentless. So this is about a block away from the beach. As you can see, well, not on this side, but on this side, there's a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic, and there's a lot of uh, not only traffic with the cars, but foot traffic. So everybody, you know, they're done with the beach. So now they come out here to this strip and they eat, they drink, they hang out, and just enjoy these Santa Malta nights. So I just wanted to add this in real quick. I'm not gonna really dive into it all that much, but I just wanted to, for you to see this. So when the sun has finally set, and if you wanna keep the party going here in the Rodadero area, oh well, hey, there you go. Alright everybody, so I'm wrapping it up here at Playa Rodadero and just so you can see, just so you can see that, you know, from what I was talking about earlier. So 
I'm about to head to the bus stop right now and uh, to head back to the centro. It looks like I just missed the bus. It's right there. It's all good though. These buses run like water. So I'm gonna get the next one. I think I see another one coming. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. So John the Torres Torres signing out. We got a full moon by the way. <laughs>